What's going on guys? My name's Buckeye. Thank you for stopping by the channel today. I asked Reddit if they would be returning to Warzone with season four in Fortune's Keep. And this is what they said. But before we get to that, go ahead and give this video a like if you're gonna enjoy it. I'm just assuming you're gonna enjoy it. So definitely hit the like button and subscribe if you wanna see more Call of Duty Warzone content heading into Warzone 2.0. But anyways, let's get into it. All right, so I went to Reddit and I posted on there, will you return to Warzone with Fortune's Keep? I just wanted to get an idea from what some of the people are saying, because the last time I posted on Reddit, people were not exactly kind about the game. So I wanted to see if people would be any different this time around with the new update coming. So I posted a poll with three options. I said yes, no, and I'll wait for Warzone 2.0. Well, 1300 votes later, the winner was yes with 739 votes. I'll wait for Warzone 2.0 was second with 432 votes and no with 128 votes. Now the no is kind of mixed between people who are still currently playing the game and also just will not be returning at all. Um, so that's a little bit of a mix there, but the majority of people saying yes, they will come back to Warzone with Fortune's Keep. Would you look at that? Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of these comments to see what people are really saying about it. No option for it, but I will continue to play Warzone, yes. New Rebirth map looks really cool. I agree. Same as for Caldera, I'd like to try it, but I don't have any any Vanguard guns leveled up, I'm going to try and play with subpar guns. Well, I mean, the honest answer to that is two things. It's to play the game and get the battle pass. And that's pretty much what you got to do. <laughs> Before too long, you'll need a terabyte to download Warzone. That is a very true statement. That's definitely something that Call of Duty needs to figure out for sure, because their games are consistently massive. I'll give it a try, but probably the absence of an FOV slider will just push me right back to Vanguard Ranked. I'll check the new map though. Vanguard Ranked is where you're spending most of your time. That's very interesting. I was not expecting to hear anybody say that. I don't know of a single person who still plays Vanguard multiplayer, so that's very interesting to me. I'll give it a try, but generally I'm just waiting for MW2 and Warzone 2. I think there's a lot of people that is in that boat, and clearly by this poll there is still a lot of people that feels the same way. I'm going to quit if Rebirth Island is removed. It's the only thing keeping my friends and I still playing. Well, Spets, you haven't even played Fortune's Keep yet. Who knows? It may be just as good or even better. I would suggest giving it a shot at the very least. If Fortune's Keep is trash, I'm switching games until MW2 Warzone 2. Gonna give it a chance, of course. See how it plays after a week or two. I think that's a very reasonable response. Um, definitely at least give it a shot. Try it out. And if you don't like it, then you don't like it. And you can wait until the new games come out. But at the very least, give it a try. You know what I mean? I mean, it's free to check out. I just want a damn FOV slider. I feel you, Rook. I feel you. That's one thing that I don't quite understand why they haven't brought to consoles yet. I'm sure there's a reason, but I don't quite understand. Do people still play Warzone regularly? I used to play it almost every day till Caldera. Now we only play once a month or every couple. Oh yeah, there's definitely people who play this game. It's one of the most popular games in the world. People still play it. This is coming from a Halo fan where nobody plays that game. <laughs> Maybe for a game or two, if it's anything like Caldera, I don't see myself getting too invested. That's fair. And like this, like I was saying earlier, at the very least, give it a try, right? Check it out. See what you think. If you don't like it, then you don't like it and you don't have to. Pretty sure it will be the end of Warzone for me. Possibly be back for Warzone 2, but if it's next gen only, then I'm done with COD. I don't understand this comment. Let's continue reading. You'll be done if it was only for new consoles. You're not planning on ever upgrading them. I do plan on upgrading, but I'm not going to upgrade when the only next gens available are two or three times retail price. Totally understand that. Absolutely do. Um, I can't fault you for that. That makes complete and total sense. Bye lads, I'll be leaving Warzone to play other games for now. I mean, that's totally fair. It really is. The new season comes out in just a week, basically. If you're not going to play that until Warzone 2, I mean, who cares, right? You have the option to do so. Go ahead. So yeah, guys, that's my poll. I'm going to be doing more of these videos, by the way. I really enjoyed getting some feedback on here. So I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of things like this, posting questions on Reddit and seeing what people say. So if you want to see more stuff like that, definitely stay tuned to the channel. That does it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. So we'll send this video higher up in the search algorithm. Let me know in the comments down below. Will you be returning for season four and fortunes keep in Warzone? And if you want to see more content like this, definitely subscribe. But anyways, I will see you in the next one. Very well.